Hello everyone, we do have this MacBook Air A1465. So, this one it has the UFI uh, pen. So, the customer wants to install the new system and is asking him for the pen. He doesn't know it, and we are going to remove the, the pen. So, the motherboard is a uh, A20 00164. Dash A. So already removed the screws, and let's take the motherboard, and we go now reprogram the. So here the motherboard and the chip is right over there. So for this job we're gonna this programmer or any BIOS programmer, not uh, especially this one, but this is like between ten to fifteen dollar. I have it for like three years now and still works good. This is the chip. There is a couple of capacitors around the chip, so be careful when you are uh, removing the chip. You don't uh, touch them. So after that, we're gonna solder it to this uh, programmer. Remember where the the chip the direction is this side the chip in the place so we're gonna need this program to change the file and this is the the program for the USB programmer adapter and this program here, so this is the three programs we're going to need. So open it as administrator. And let's go detect. So don't worry about these errors. And we're going to read the chip. Don't click to write or erase the chip before you read it. So we give it a minute till it's done. So we just we're going to wait till it's completely done. So after it's read the file, it's going to check if this file here is match what inside the chip because sometimes when the file is read could be like missing change it or that's why you need to be sure it's the same file and if you see it is the same the file inside the chip and this file both of them is the same that's why we're done so now we are going to save the the file Give it a name and I'm gonna save it in desktop. So let's give it that name. It's lock.
and the file is here so next let's this program use it if you want to read the serial number we put the file in it or we can go here and go open image file so we go here to BIOS and we go to this one in VRAM so the serial number is here if you want to check it just go view hex and that's the serial number yeah we're done here so let's close this one and we're gonna open the hex and just get this file here after we open the file we're gonna look for uh, dollar sign and s v s and we're gonna find two spots here that has that one so the first one you can see there is something here when you see y is mean this sector is empty nothing on it and you can see f here but this one is mean there is some codes here the other one is empty so this is the one we need this one here we go now just select you can even select from here doesn't matter or from here all the way till you see the F's like you can see them here doesn't matter if you go a little bit far or you stop at here so we go to edit and fill the section and we are gonna make it capital two F's and we click OK that's how it is now go back to file and we go save don't click to uh, just save cause that's going to change the file in case if anything wrong like the file something goes wrong with it we still have the original one so we click save as and uh, we put clean you give it any name just like clean or uh, all right it's here so that's the clean file so we open the programmer and we detect the chip again just to be sure no worry about this error and we delete everything from the chip and we wait for the process so the chip is empty that's good and I'm gonna open the file and the one we give it name clean what is it so here sometime like when it's uh, save it is not going to be like uh, it's not going to have nothing so let's change this one to be easy to find because this the file is clean so we're going to give it like dot b i n so now we are the program is going to see it so it's right here click open and we click right so let's give it a minute gonna go search go find and we'll write s SN and we search all. Let's try again, find no. 
sometimes when you search for something and you search for it again it's gonna give you that cannot be found fine so just let just close everything and open it again ssn and here this is the spots that uh, we find uh, the ssn so the first one that's not look like the the serial number so second one here this does not look like this the serial number and the third one this is what uh, the serial number it starts with the c 02 rn so like this one here you can see the serial number you can see it over there so from here all the way to here so programming is done you can see the chip memory is the same the file that that we opened and the file inside this uh, the chip we write inside the chip is the same so now let's take the chip and install it in the board we hold the option button and now the computer we can change the boot and we can reload the new system so no more passcode in the computer so I'm gonna reload the new system on it after you remove the passcode from the chip you're gonna need to reinstall the new system I'm gonna put the computer together and reinstall the new system then uh, give it back to the customer so this is all for this video and uh, see you next one almost done uh, loading the 10.15 the Catalina and you know if uh, your computer doesn't uh, it stopped at the 10.11 or 10.12 you still can uh, can download the new uh, patched uh, OS X and install them in the old uh, Mac system, Mac computers.